Act one, scene four is set in a street. This is where Romeo and his crew are on the way to the Capulet party. And this is where we meet Mercutio. So remember, Mercutio is that friend that never shuts up, ever. And so the scene starts off with Romeo and he's just basically being so depressing. And you know, if you're gonna go to an event or at a party or this masquerade, so they would have been wearing masks, okay? So, you know, you don't wanna be in a bad, sad mood, right? But Romeo is, and he keeps talking about it. And Mercutio's giving him a hard time. And he's basically saying, Romeo, we're gonna get you to dance. And Romeo says, not I. You believe me, you have dancing shoes with nimble soles. I have a soul of lead that stakes me to the ground. Okay, Romeo. You have a very heavy soul. We get it. Mercutio, nay, gentle Romeo, you are a lover. Borrow Cupid's wings and soar. He's like, Romeo, just get over it already. And Romeo says, I am too sore and pierced with his shaft of sore with his light feathers and so bound I cannot bound a pitch above dull woe under love's heavy burden. Do I sink? So Romeo blames it on love. Romeo is always going to blame things on love. Does Romeo even know what love is? I really don't think so. I think he knows what lust is, which is physical appearance. Um, but anyways, Mercutio is just picking on Romeo, giving him a hard, hard time. And Romeo says, you know what? Is love a tender thing? It is too rough, too rude, too boisterous, and it pricks like thorn. And Mercutio replies with, if love be rough with you, be rough with love. Prick love for pricking, and you beat love down. All right. So we have a little bit of like perverse language in here. Normally, if we were in class, I would probably point more of the dirty jokes out, but I'm not going to in my videos as much. But here, Mercutio, he is a little bit perverse. And so he basically tells Romeo, you know what? I had a dream. Um, and Romeo says, I also had a dream. And y'all, caution, beep, 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 beep. When Romeo has a dream, that is not good because dreams symbolize foreshadowing. And what's foreshadowing? What's gonna come in the future, okay? Hence to the future. And so the fact that Romeo says, I dreamt a dream tonight. And Mercutio says, and so did I. Romeo says, well, what was yours? And Mercutio says that dreamers often lie. Romeo, in bed asleep while they do dream things true. Then Mercutio says, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. All right, who is Queen Mab and why is she important about dreams? Well, let's talk about fairies for a second. Um, Mercutio is talking about a little fairy that creeps into your dreams and makes you dream about things you're not supposed to. So, for example, this next um, speech, this is what we call a monologue. It is a very long speech by one character on stage, all right? And this is a very famous monologue. This is called the Queen Mab speech. And basically, Mercutio just talks about how the little fairy creeps into your dreams and it makes you think dream about things that you know you're not supposed to. For example, talks about how soldiers dream about cutting foreign throats. <sniffs> talks about how maids dream about kissing men in closets. Um, it talks about how lawyers straight dream on fees, which is money. And then, like, it's kind of like Mercutio is really lighthearted. And then he gets to the end, and he gets out of control with his speech. His, like, um, voice gets really loud, and he's angry. And then he says that this is the maid, the hag, where maids lie on their backs that presses them and learns them first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is she! And then Romeo interrupts him. Peace, peace, Mercutio, peace. Thou talkst of nothing. And so why does Mercutio get so emotional here? Well, scholars have said that it's implied that maybe um, he had a bad relationship with a female or maybe there was a female in his life that was actually raped because we get the line here. This is the hag when the maids lie on their backs that presses them and learns them first to bear. So he just has this really 
wrong idea of what love is. And so we're going to talk about how Mercutio and Romeo are character foils. They're opposites because Mercutio does not believe in love. And Romeo is a dreamer. He believes in love. He's a romantic, I guess. And Mercutio just doesn't believe in that at all. So make sure you remember that. And then at the end of this, um, Romeo says to himself, basically, um, about his dream that he had, he said, I fear too early for my mind misgives some consequence, yet hanging in the stars shall bitterly begin his fearful date with this night's revels and expire the term of dis despised life closed in my breast by some vile forfeit of untimely death. But he that hath the steerage of my course direct my sail on lusty gentlemen. So basically, I dreamed last night that something was going to bring me to my death. But you know what? YOLO. Let's go to the party.